Today's product review is the Logi Rally Bar Mini. I'm Paul Bloom and this is in my humble opinion. First impressions of the Logi Rally Bar Mini after reviewing the Rally Bar is that it really is the smaller little brother. On the back with the connections and the fittings it is exactly the same, identical to the Rally Bar. Of course the one thing that's obvious is that the camera is noticeably smaller where the Rally Bar camera is uh, much larger. And of course the, the size of the sound bar, the number of speakers, that sort of thing has been reduced obviously to cater for smaller rooms. So today I'm going to take you through a little walkthrough. We'll see how to configure this. We'll do a little test and see how it behaves in uh, my little test environment over here. Let's get started. We've got the option straight off the bat. I've just I've powered it up and connected it to my HDMI uh, screen over here, connected to the network. I haven't even opened up the remote yet. So I believe I haven't even installed the batteries. So I shall do that. You have two options of configuring this. You can do with a remote over there or, and it tells you what to do, it is there, just uh, press the button five times on the center and, and, and get into the setup. Or you can use a touch panel, a tap, a logi tap. Now, my preference, I'm not a big fan of remotes. I'll just put it out there. I hate remotes for the simple reason is that couches firstly seem to eat them for a start. And there's always a battle as to who holds the remote. Because we all know, he who holds the remote holds the power. So for me, remote, out the window. I'll put it over there. I'm not even going to open it. I prefer the tap, especially in meeting rooms. It's a much slicker feel. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit more of an expense. But it's such a much more natural, flowing, professional feeling. And in my case, I still have the USB connected tap over here. Um, Soon I'll get a, an IP connected one and I know they're out and I'll be able to do a proper test with those as well. Give me a moment while I just connect my tap to uh, an, one of the uh, three USB ports over here, USB A, B and C, and it doesn't really matter which one you connect it to. I've connected mine over there and you'll see it's going to update the software. I'll let that run through. I can see the tap powering up as well. It's showing me a, a little... Uh, an hourglass which is pretty good and we can see the tap is busy updating as well now what's happened is on the tap I now have the option to carry on setup on the monitor over here and uh, of course I'll just talk you through it's very very it's just first time set up now of course I could have set this up with the settings XML the Skype settings XML file and uh, perhaps we'll do a video on that at another time but for now, I've got my country. I'm just going to tap that over there so that I can change it to uh, what are the options here? Let's go other country, New Zealand, uh, time zone. It's going to go New Zealand, um, language, New Zealand, agree. And off we go to network setup. Now here on the tap, and this is awesome. This is the same exact, exact same setup as we saw on the Logi Rally Bar in a previous video I did. And so here it's giving me the option to choose whether I'm going to go with uh, Zoom or Microsoft Teams or BYOD or Ring Central, Pixip, GoToRoom. And there's a new option there, 10 cent meeting, which I, did, I haven't noticed before. Maybe it's not new. I certainly didn't notice it before. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Teams, eh? Yeah. Clicked on Teams. Now, that's interesting. It's kind of switched my um, theme from a white theme to a, well, a light, to a dark theme just then, which is interesting. It, it's telling me to put the little sticker on the remote. You know the little sticker that everyone keeps losing and asks, you know, how do you know which button's a Teams button? That's based on the sticker. I'm just going to hit the next button here because I'm not really going to use that. It says, hey, um, Sync is a platform for monitoring the device. So it's asking me to sign into Sync. So that's the Logi Sync platform. I'm just going to skip that for now because I don't really want to do that. Equipment test for available. 
I've got now the ability, and this, this is something that I really, really like about the way Logi have done their Collab OS piece. They've got this equipment test piece, which uh, when I do my next uh, review of other vendors, I'll check whether they have the same, because I haven't reviewed another vendor for a, a wee while. It's been Logi season, right? I can go camera image, so if I click on camera image, up comes the camera, and I can then sit and change and adjust, and that's not a very uh, very good view. What I'll do is I'll just go right, that's, it. that's fine. I can test the speakers. Here we go, hold on. When I go plus, yeah, I can test that and, and I can push it up or down, have a look how it is. Potentially when you're playing that, have a little walk around the room, see how clear it is and how you feel about that. I've got microphone test. Um, I might just do that. At this point, I'll just move away from the microphone just a little bit and talk over here and see what it does. I might go back again, just see how it's behaved as far as this is concerned. Um, it's recorded my voice and it's going to play it back to me. Give me the option to test the microphone. At this point, I'll move away from the microphone just a little bit and talk over here and see what it does. And it's got a network test as well. Um, obviously, I've just done updates. The network should be okay. So uh, I'm just going to move on from that. It's telling me here, hey, look, um, the Rally Bar Mini camera and microphone, you can connect the USB cable from your laptop to the USB-C port on the Rally Bar Mini. Moving on, setting camera presets, it's got the remote telling me how to set some presets. I'm not going to bother with that just yet. And it says now that the installation is complete, which is great. Which now takes me to that quick join companion mode setup. So I'm just going to pause the recording for a moment. I'll just go to the Microsoft.com device login site, pop in the code. And as they say in Africa, Bob's your uncle. I've uh, gone to the website, I've put in the code, it's asked me for the password for the account, and I go sign in, and just uh, approving that at the moment, and you can see over there, my, uh, my unit's getting to the Active Directory bit, and there she goes, verifying a few things, we're signing you in, the truth of the matter is, it's done. Look at that. Boom. Oh man, I love this companion mode. I just can't say it enough. I love the companion mode. This is the way to do it. We don't have anything scheduled, so there's nothing on there. Over here, very basic view, first time set up, ready to go. And once I've scheduled some meetings, we'll be good to go. And the fact of the matter is, this is Collab OS. So there's nothing more for me to dig into. What I will do though, is I'm now going to go through the process of getting into a Teams meeting, having a look at how it behaves. We'll have a look at how the audio and video behaves as the MTR on Android uses the hardware. And then I'll also um, have a look at how it works on Windows. Let's move on. Right, this is my uh, AV test for the Logi Rally Bar Mini. So, um, this is the Rally Bar Mini running Android, so self-contained, self-compute, and my usual room right here, I'm, you know, about two meters from, maybe a meter and a half, two meters from the camera at the moment, and I'll just do my usual walk around, just so that you can get a feel for the tracking and all that kind of stuff. Um, just standing in the far corner here, which essentially is about uh, four meters from the, uh, from the unit. Now, I'm still just talking in my normal voice, Remember that the Rally Bar Mini is designed for the sort of small to maybe pushing it to get to the medium room. So um, it should deal pretty well with this distance over here. The, uh, the writing on the box says four and a half meters is when you start needing to think about additional microphones. Uh, not really at four and a half. So this, this would constitute a good sized small room, I would say. And, uh, of course, I've got some acoustic paneling over here, so we shouldn't get any reverb or anything like that. And I'll just move around just a little bit to give the camera the opportunity to find me. And you'll see over there it's finding me. I'm, I'm quite um, angled at the camera, quite uh, wide from the view. Just to give you a feel for uh, how good the, um, the range is for the Rally 
uh, bar mini and also the rally bar. Now I'm, I'm sitting on the very, very far end over here, uh, almost in the corner of my office. This is a wall here, another wall right here, which um, uh, you probably can't see here. This is uh, me touching the rally bar just on the corner there, so I'm pretty wide. I couldn't, if I went any further back, I wouldn't be able to see the monitor. Even now, it's not really very uh, well positioned for viewing, and yet the camera is able to find me all the way back here. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm quite impressed with the ability it has to do that. Make sure I don't knock anything off my table here. Is uh, frame up and zoom in. So I'm, I'm in the opposite corner now. Maybe not as far as the four, four and a half meters. Maybe it's about three, three and a half here where I am. And you might see that the uh, the camera's not really zooming into me that much. But remember, this is designed for a small room setup. And so I'm just going to take back my seat over here, give the uh, Rally Bar Mini the opportunity to frame me up and find me. I'm right in front of the unit at the moment. Um, and just a reminder, how I'm recording this is that I'm actually doing a screen grab straight off my PC on the incoming side. So my PC's joined the meeting. I'm scraping the, the video straight off there. And I'm also recording the system audio. So what's being transmitted over the wire and coming out the other end. So I'm not using the, uh, the additional microphones and, and lighting or anything like that. Um, and of course, to challenge us nicely, I've got some kitties outside making a good old noise. So um, I'll only know how that came through once I get to the recording. This is a AV test and also the testing of the tracking capabilities of the Rally Bar Mini. I've taken the Rally Bar Mini and connected it via USB-C connector on the back to the MTR on Windows. So I'm using it now as a peripheral speaker, peripheral microphone, and of course a camera, and of course the other smarts that I'm able to use in this way that's in there. So the, uh, the tracking and that sort of stuff. So you should get a feel for it, how it's you know processed in a Windows environment. I'll just move around a little bit. Uh, nothing special, I guess, uh, other than it's just a standard MTR uh, on Windows driven device. And it should, um, for the most part, behave probably the same as an Android. I haven't been able to tell much difference. I'm about four meters away here in the corner. And uh, you'll see it tracking me as I move around. And I'll just move back this way. And as you saw on Android, I'm still collecting the data the same way as before, collecting it as it's coming in, the video and the audio as it's arriving at my PC over there. So um, I'm not picking up anything directly from the MTR uh, or doing any RDP session or any other sort of recording. I'm not using my Yeti or anything like that for audio. That's why, by the way, when you listen to me talking to the camera, sitting in front of the camera, talking, and it sounds really clear and really crisp compared to when I'm in a room environment, just remember, I'm sitting right in front of a Yeti, which is pretty hard to beat, right? especially in, in these sorts of environments. Let me get back to the chair. And this is the capabilities of the Logi Rally Bar Mini used as a peripheral device on a Microsoft Teams room system. 